Good morning from Cottonwood Cove. It's just getting light. It's Thursday, October 21st, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna head out here, probably head down south, hang out until the sun comes up, see if I can spot any boils, because I am in the boil chasing machine today. Predator MK. This thing will do. I have done 19 miles in this thing. I've never seen below 60% on that 156 amp hour battery right there. OHMMU lithium. OMU, I believe it's pronounced. OMU lithium. Weighs 26 pounds. And I'll run this thing all day. It'll, I'll wear out way before it does. But anyways, here we go. No wind. Cottonwood Cove. Does not happen very often. So you gotta make the most of it when it does. So stick around. Well, it's nine o'clock. I've gone like 12 miles. This is not panning out to be a banner day. I don't know why I do this to myself. Cottonwood is so hit and miss. There's three boats right out in front of me. I don't see any boils happening. But, uh, and I don't see anything over here. I've seen a couple bait balls. I had one good bump uh, about five miles that way. But, I don't know, they seem to know when you have your tackle box laying in your lap and I lost them pretty quickly. So, I don't know. I don't know. This might be a, this is more than likely gonna be the last trip to Cottonwood this year. But uh, this is not looking good. I have caught them down here in November. But I'd much rather find other things to do than drive 54 miles for a really bad chance at catching a fish. I apparently have missed the boils down here. So I don't know. I might, I might find some. I might not. We're not done, we're heading south. Tony's, he might already be over there by Pot Cove, which I believe is south of Waterwheel Cove, which is like right past this point right here that you probably can't see. So, he went over to the Arizona side, went down to the end of Cottonwood Road and launched. But the wind's starting to kick up. So I'm on the Nevada side, so if it gets bad, I can just turn this thing around and it's gonna come out of the south, so it'll shove me right back to the launch. I just gotta keep it flat. So, we're still trying. Some, one a boil could erupt right in front of me right now. You just never know down here. I've seen them happen right in the middle of the river, actually. So, I'm looking. I got a Top water lure all ready to fire out there if one happens. Nothing yet, except for the one I lost. It was a little bit more than a bump. He pulled a little bit of drag, and by the time I got the pole in, the pole in my hands, it was gone. So, no, we're still trying. This is how quickly Lake Mojave just turns right to crap. Five minutes goes flat. Over there it's white capping. And oh my god, this is this is gonna be a little bit of a rough ride. I gotta go way up there by those palm trees. And I'm heading right into the wind. The wind was supposed to come out of the south, it's coming right straight out of the north. So that's gonna be it for this one. No fish, I lost one. I'm gonna try and get in and not tip this thing over. No guarantees. Because it's getting worse quickly. So, you know. Like and subscribe if you would. I appreciate it. I'm gonna try and get home and not lose all my fishing gear here. So uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be back on the water. I might go tomorrow morning to Boulder just to because I know there's fish there. But uh, I'm not gonna be coming here again anytime soon. 
Like and subscribe, like I said. There will always be more. Not more here for a while. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright. Everybody, everybody's racing back to the watch. I'm almost there. It's around the corner. I'm going to make a very kind of a hairpin turn. I had to go past the marina and up against this, get as close as I could to this bank right here and block the wind and then make a turn. But man, that was out of control. I'm in 11 feet of water, hoping I don't run aground. I don't think it drops off that quickly here. But, uh, anyways, whew, that is not a lot of fun right there, but I made it. It's like the second or third time I've been caught in slop out there. First time in this one. Wow. But it handled it. It handled it well. Not something I would recommend. And now, right here, there's no wind. There's no wind at all, right here. That's crazy, because hills are blocking it. But anyways, like I said, like and subscribe if you would. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'm probably going to be on Lake Mead tomorrow, if anywhere. I won't be coming back here. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. See you next time.